Hello everybody, I'm going to do a mermaid and dragon speed paint. And here I go. Sorry if it's a little pixelated, this is a speed paint. And I started out with the default program in my computer, the um the fresh paint. So it might I actually went and colored all this. So this took this part took me about two hours, sadly. I was trying to bound and determine to think it wouldn't take me that long, but um, gotta go in, and we gotta go around those tiny little fingers. Sadly, the recording didn't work recording it beforehand, but, um, I had this idea because I was looking, just looking online, and somebody posted a mermaid thing, and I was like, sweet. So, Kamori's gonna try to start doing speed paints, because they're just fine. And the hair, yeah. I was playing around more with the tools, it was a test, because I'm going to, since I'm going into illustration, I'm going to try to start learning how to draw with the computer, just as a backup, you know. Because I say it's not in your hands, it's in your mind, so, this hair in here, um, so yeah, and I love mermaids, and I love dragons, so I was like, speed paint it, yeah, boy, so I was doing that, and it is really hot, it is a balmy 80 here, Right now, and I turned my fan off so that way you guys don't have any background noise. So I'm like burning up because if anyone knows anything in my room, it's always 10 degrees hotter than the rest of the house. And I'm always 10 degrees hotter, so it's like a balmy 90 in my brain right now. So it's blue. There we colored in. Yeah, so um, if you guys are watching my channel, please watch the commercials because I'm rasterizing. I am trying to make some money, and I don't think I've even actually made anything yet. Let's cut this in here, do the hair. It is good when you draw hair to do the little lines. You can go in with a darker, closer color, which I kind of go in later, and do some highlights so that it looks more natural. But right now, I'm just playing with the cartoony style, trying to add, excuse me, some realism to it, but not trying to keep it as real for shield. Around here, get some highlights. Oh, yeah, get the tail. This is where I switched into paint because I was like, fuck this shit. Nobody got time for that, all that coloring in, so it's thin, and, yeah, so I've been marinating for about three years, but only, like, two years publicly, and I need a lot of support, at least page likes, and for people to know that, you know, there's mermaids out in indie, too, because not that many people know, like, okay, yeah, you gotta mess around with things and learn how to draw on the computer, it's, it can be hard. And under the sea, under the sea, drawing scales, just, you know, rough pattern scales, little tiger straps going on, tiger straps, yeah. Um, but yeah, so, and I'm going, uh, hopefully someone will commission me to do some illustrations, yeah. Okay, so, I'm going to slow down a little bit for you guys in a minute, so you kind of see, yeah, uh, I got some things going on, and I got to draw in the scales, which is, you know, going to be a bitch, but, um, yeah, I could use that in drawing terms. It's a drawing term because you have to draw it and draw all these little scales. So draw the scales in. And yeah, that might be a little fuzzy because, you know, it's going a million times an hour. But um, anyway, so it, it really helps for the support. And if you guys like my videos and to watch through the stupid commercials, I know they're probably going to be like, why do you call it stupid? But um, just so that, you know, I get, um, scale. um, I get some funding hopefully. I might start a Kickstarter. I'm not exactly sure, but thank you for those who have been out there supporting me. Okay, so as you can see, the other program I was using was just a draw and touch with your hand program. And that program sucked because for some reason they were stupid and put a paint bucket into it, which is like the worst thing. You can. It's the worst thing you can probably do for trying to draw like something um, really close up or something. So what I decided to do was to just use paint. Say fuck it, use paint and. Just for now, we're going to do like this line here. Because you want to put a line here because I just saw I talked about the face. Because your eyebrows and stuff, you want to cover up. It's kind of like when you use. Oops! Not what I want. Kind of like when you use Prismacolor, how they kind of cover up Sharpie. 
Yeah. So like section off an area for the lips. They're gonna go here. Section off the section. Uh, yeah, Prisma colors are pretty much like taking a wax crayon and coloring those. They're really good for blending, but not very good for when you're trying to keep. Oops, wait. Trying to keep the um, stuff where you want to keep the stuff. Oh, yeah, shit. Okay. There we go. So that's all I want to tell you guys is that I'm going to start just doing my speed paints on actual paint because the other program is just kind of evil. Okay, so I know this part is kind of creepy. No, no, as we got drawn the nose. This is just because, like I said with the Prismacolor thing, you don't want to have to go in and re-edit just to get in the small parts of tan. So you kind of have to work at it just like it is actually paint. So we got to go in and do some lips. You got to do some facial features. Just like eyebrow skin because it kind of you know, it's like eh. But that's the thing with drawing. Like oh god, nope, nope, nope. Okay, uh, woo. Think you have to be fixed that. So we got to go back in and do some highlights and stuff. And when you really draw, you really come back and redo things. And so you cover that up, place that. Good way to cover up those tiny little spots. But um, so yeah, and you got to zoom in. And now that I've become more, you know, artiste. I go back in and I know where there's tiny details in the person that I can add even in a very zoomed out or more larger picture. At gills, gotta make sure that everything is good, add in some extra hair here, you know, cause she's underwater so her hair is kind of flowy and wild, add in a few highlights, you know, add in a different tone that's similar so that it looks a little more realistic. Gotta go in and fix his details, but um, really it's just, you know, you got to make things look good, give it a little eye shiner. There you go. And you gotta do a lot of detail because nowadays everything's so graphically detailed that it's just like, oh no. Which I will learn more on how to do backgrounds on paint. I am just haven't had a good experience with that. You know, it's bubbles in. I just shiny. Add a little shiny, add a little shiny. But um, just because this is water, and if you've ever really swam in water, when you get real deep, if there's nothing really there, it's just kind of blue. And I kind of started playing around and seeing if I could, like, you know, do some shading or rendering, which is really hard on the computer. It'd be easier just to print it out and use some watercolor and render this bitch in. But, um, <coughs> sorry, detail. It was a long night recording this and doing all this and shading and rendering and I was just like, oh, why? Why you take so long? And then there's like, oh, no. It's just, you You got to make it look good. And I am hope that you guys kind of learn or watch and have a fun experience with my videos and that I hope that you enjoy. This is my very first speed paint. First speed paint I've ever done. But um, I thought, hey, why the hell not? So... Um, I hope that y'all enjoy it, and I'll do another one. I'm thinking of doing a Nintendo one, so, or Pokemon. I'm trying to do all the Pokemon. So, I'll just kind of slow down in a minute so that you can see everything that I have, and you can enjoy my artwork, and I hope you guys do. I really hope you do. Well, I'm finishing up my speed paint, and here is my finished product. At the end, there'll be more of a picture, but I hope you all enjoyed and you like how much effort the three hours it took to finish this. Well, I'll give this to you for a second to look at, but I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll put my mermaid page in the link below so you can see my other mermaid stuff, and I hope you'll watch future speed paints, and to stay and enjoy this picture for a while. Thank you.